Energy and energy efficiency are at the forefront of everyone's minds. Whether it be in the home, at work or whilst travelling, people are now more focused than ever on how to conserve energy and save money. The Energy Saving Trust is a non-profit organisation that provides free and impartial advice on how to stop wasting energy and start saving money. In the UK at the moment, the average household emits around five and a half tonnes of CO2, carbon dioxide, every year. And that's the carbon dioxide that's having the effect on the environment, that's causing climate change. An easy way to help people understand how much energy they use and what that impact on the environment is, is through something called a carbon footprint. The average person in the UK has a carbon footprint of nine tonnes of carbon dioxide. Now, it's the UK government's target to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that we emit as a country by 80% by the year 2050. It's often thought that you know carbon dioxide, climate change, that's big businesses, that's industry, that's government that needs to take care of that. When in fact, 45% of the carbon dioxide emissions in the UK comes from us, comes from you and me, how we live our lives at home, the energy we use to heat, power and provide light in our homes and how we get about the place. So it's actually, you know, almost half of that is down to us. One way that people are really starting to improve the energy efficiency of their property is by focusing on a flaw in building design. Without adequate protection, a large percentage of energy used to heat a home will escape from your house and dissipate into the atmosphere. Knauf Insulation offer a solution. Knauf has been insulation for about 30 years, it started in America, um, but Knauf insulation as we know it today has really only been around for the last seven years, with the acquisition of various businesses in Europe and also the building of several greenfield plants in Europe. We like to call ourselves the fastest growing insulation company in the world. Within the UK, within Northern Europe, we have a unique proposition because we're the only manufacturer of three different types of insulation which means we can offer the best insulation for any application rather than trying to make a type of insulation fit an application where it's not ideally suited. Over a third of the heat that would escape from a property would go through what we call the opaque wall area, which is the brick, the brick skin uh, of the property. Uh, and the idea is to, is to fill that void in existing properties to ensure, one, that there isn't uh, earth circulating within the cavity, but more importantly is that you're covering the wall and you're stopping heat from passing through the wall to the outside because that's the way heat would generally want to go from an area of high temperature to low temperature on the outside. Energy efficiency is at the core of our business and everything we do revolves around that because we recognise that energy is at the forefront of everybody's minds whether it's carbon emissions, whether it's Copenhagen or Kyoto or even down to the cost of energy and people's household bills. I've seen my energy costs rise significantly over the last five years and the cheapest energy, the cleanest energy, is energy that you can save and that's why we drive our business in the way that we do to provide systems for old buildings and systems for new buildings which reduce your energy consumption, save money and save carbon. Insulation, it's not sexy but it is really important. If you're lucky enough to live in a modern home in the UK then it, it will be well insulated already but most of us in the UK live in older homes that are badly insulated um, so that means we're losing a lot of that heat through the walls, through the roof and through the drafts and the cracks. We all spend time at home and use energy in a multitude of ways. We have the central heating on, the refrigerator running, lights on around the house and countless other devices and products. We know these all use energy, but are probably not aware of the financial repercussions of an evening in. Effigy have developed a product that both educates and helps us to actively save money. The E2 is our flagship product, it's our newest product. It is a wireless energy monitor. Um, it works quite simply through taking a reading from your live cable that comes into your home. You fit a sensor to the cable near to the electricity meter. That then fits to a transmitter. It takes a reading from the current flowing through the cable. The signal is sent uh, via a wireless transmitter. Uh, the portable monitor display acts as a receiver for that information and then it translates it into more understandable information displaying the consumption not only in kilowatt hours but it turns it into cost in pounds and pence. You can also download that information through a USB connection to your PC. With the E2 we supply 
um, proprietary software called eLink. That software then uh, receives all the historical information from the monitor. Once it's in your PC and uploaded to the eLink software, you can then analyse your consumption data in much more sort of granular detail. You can even look at your consumption by hour, by day, a week, a month, uh, and even year. Energy monitors really do help people to understand exactly how much energy specific items within the household are using. For example, when you boil a kettle or you use a, you use a toaster, you, you can see there and then exactly how much energy you're using and how much it's costing you. So they're excellent items and really, really good way of establishing how much energy you're using. The majority of energy we use creates a carbon emission that scientists agree is causing climate change or global warming. Climate change is a naturally occurring phenomenon that has been occurring since the Earth first existed. Due to the fine balance of Earth's atmosphere and the gases that make up the air, it is to be expected that temperature changes and rainfall patterns will be continually shifting. Now, in the early 21st century, we are presented with the evidence that humans have steadily increased the atmospheric concentration of the gases that cause global warming. It's clear that saving energy isn't just a financial concern, but is also an issue of future well-being. Reducing energy consumption is what effigy is all about. Our name means efficient energy, and we want to help people to reduce their energy use so they can save money on their electricity bills, but also so that they can help um, make an impact on the environment, which is really important to everyone today. Um, and as a company, we see that as not just something we want to do, but our responsibility. And we really care about helping people to do that and making an impact ourselves. So what we try and do is make products which are able to help people to consume less energy. Um, but also in our approach to our manufacturing and everything we do, we try and be as energy efficient as possible. And we try and make a long-term commitment to it as well. So we're trying to help schools and organisations to make a contribution to being more energy efficient. Well, our vision is that everybody saves as much energy as they can and reduces their energy consumption, which has two benefits. It reduces carbon emissions and it reduces the amount of money they have to spend. And our whole reason for existence, a whole, everything we do within our business is driven around assisting people to save energy, whether they're building a massive, massive warehouse development or whether they're doing an extension to their property. We have the products, we have the systems and the solutions which can assist them in saving energy, reducing their costs and in reducing the environmental impact they put on the planet. Energy efficiency and climate change kind of comes and goes in the media all the time. You'll see it for two months on the front pages of newspaper and in every news bulletin, and then it'll just go away again because it's, you know, it's not fashionable for some reason in the media. There's other big stories. The fact is that it is an issue. The challenge then, and it's a challenge for us, to, is to really help people um, know exactly what it is they can do because they all know that recycling is a good idea. Everybody recycles now. Yeah, it's just what you do. Everybody knows that um, you can turn down your thermostat by one degree and that will save you money off your energy bill. But it's, it's about really trying to make it tangible and personal for people. I think being energy efficient is one of the most important things you can do as an individual. It's something you can do every moment of every day and it really, really does have an impact. And when you have, say, an effigy energy monitor, you can see how that um, in pounds and pence, what an impact it makes. And just the simple things like turning the lights off, turning the television off. Um, we have a remote standby eliminator that does the job for you. Just in one simple step, it can turn all your electrical equipment off. Um, and say standby power, that can be 8% of your electricity bill. So you really can, as an individual, make an impact. Um, people shouldn't think it's a, a great big job that can only be done by government. Governments. Um, and we try and help individual people and families with that. So it's, um, it's something that we think everyone is interested in and they can really um, make an impact themselves. Electricity is something that we all take for granted. Uh, we don't have any particular interaction with our electricity consumption. We interact with the appliances that we use. So it's very difficult for people to uh, take choices on how they consume electricity. The power of the E2 wireless energy monitor is all to do with the awareness that it brings. By installing the monitor in your home, you're not going to automatically save energy. What it is is a very important call to action. It, it makes your energy consumption in the home more tangible.
from there on, uh, you, the user, then have to uh, decide uh, on what actions you can take. The Energy Saving Trust also offers further information on how to instantly become more energy efficient, both through a website and a free and independent helpline. They also have details on the best grants and programmes available to help everyone adopt energy efficient technology. The Energy Saving Trust has got a network of local advice centres across the UK. They're free and they give impartial advice to householders on all sorts of ways they can save energy in the home. They can tell them about local grants that are available to them and give them other kinds of energy saving advice. Whatever questions you ask them and whatever solutions they can give you, they know about the solutions that are available in your area. So particularly if we're looking at grants, a lot of questions that we get in our advice centres are about where can I get my grant, how much is it going to cost me to have my cavity walls filled or to get my loft insulated. Well, because of our network of advice centres, we know what's going on in your area and we can make sure that we put you through to the best deal for you in your area. Um, we're, also, we're also, because of that locality uh, of our advice centres, we also know about any events or any community things that might be going on that we can tell you about if, you're, if you want to get involved with those kind of things. And I guess kind of having a regional accent as well, knowing that the person you're talking to on the end of the phone is from around here. I know what the situation is. I know what the issues are around here because I live here too. And I know what's best for you. Let's talk about it. I'm the expert. I'll give you the right information. Join us after the break to hear what the experts advise we all do to help lower carbon footprints and increase savings. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that loft insulation is one of the most cost-effective ways to cut energy bills and do your bit for the environment. Thousands of homeowners are still throwing money away every day. An uninsulated loft means you could be paying on average £145 more per year in fuel bills to replace lost heat from your home, and a staggering 730 kilograms more CO2 emissions are created. So insulation will help you reduce your carbon footprint. By insulating your loft properly, you could significantly reduce the amount of heat loss from your home. Just 270 millimetres of space insulation meets government recommendations and it could pay for itself in under two years from energy savings alone. There are space blankets, rolls and boards for lofts from Canalf Insulation and all are easy to install. It's simple. Visit any major DIY store, bring it home, install, job done. Get down to your local DIY store today. Space Insulation, the easy way to reduce astronomical fuel bills. Worried about high energy bills again this winter? Take control with an E2 wireless energy monitor from Effigy. The E2 energy monitor will help you to understand your energy usage instantly. You can then work out how to reduce consumption and save money. Where are you wasting energy? Which appliances use the most energy? The Effigy E2 energy monitor can help you make savings through greater awareness and so do your bit for the environment. The Effigy E2 allows you to download your energy usage data to your PC so you can track and graph your energy use by the hour, day, week or month using our unique e-link software. You can see your real-time consumption in kilowatts and in pounds. The E2 will even calculate your carbon emissions and carbon footprint. The Effigy E2 Energy Monitor makes understanding and saving energy easy. Effigy. Efficient energy helps you monitor, reduce and save. Keeping warm doesn't have to cost the earth. With Superfill cavity wall insulation from Canalf Insulation, you could make real savings on your energy bills. You could also reduce your CO2 emissions. Let me tell you how. Most houses built after the 1930s were constructed with a cavity. These spaces can provide an easy route for heat to escape. This means that your boiler has to work harder, costing you money. The easy solution is Superfill Cavity Wall Insulation, a loose mineral wall-based product using recycled glass. It fills the gap and creates a lovely warm jumper for your home. A team of professionals will first undertake a free survey of your property and then return to fill the walls. The whole process could take just a couple of hours, is mess-free and even comes with a guarantee and starts working on saving money straight away. In a couple of years, it will have even paid for itself. For a free, no-obligation survey and quote, visit thinkinsulation.com or call 08700 612 216 today. Superfill the easy way to save money. The Energy Saving Trust works with only the most environmentally aware companies to help make energy savings a reality for the whole of the UK. 
We've been around longer than, than any of the other manufacturers in the UK. We've been manufacturing uh, glass mineral wool in our St. Helens factory uh, since 1946. So we've got a greater grasp of how to make uh, the insulation products. And we've also got another factory uh, down in Cumbrani, South Wales, which manufactures uh, the, uh, the space range of products and uh, encapsulates the products, etc. So we've got a, a good depth uh, of, of experience and a good grasp of, of what needs to be done. If I look at the areas that I'm responsible for, which is from, from Land's End in Cornwall all the way up into the Arctic Circle at the north of Norway and the north of Sweden, then the Nordic countries have much, much more stringent insulation requirements for their properties than we do. And that's because they have a much more extreme atmosphere and a much more extreme environment huge extremes of cold and hot between the winter and the summer and they have higher insulation requirements, higher thermal requirements for their buildings. Our view is that what is the norm today in the Nordic countries will be the norm in the UK and as far down as, as, as Portugal and Spain over the next seven to ten years as the requirement for saving energy and having more thermally efficient properties moves down Europe. So we're doing okay but we could be doing better and in the future we will be doing better. Energy uh, is never, never going to be cheap again. It's increasing all the time, uh, particularly the, the energy which is generated from, uh, from fossil fuels. So you've got your coal-powered uh, stations uh, or gas and oil which is being used, which is not going to last forever. There's loads of things that everybody can do, really small things that everybody can do in their day-to-day -day lives to help save energy around the home. Really simple things, and it's behavioural stuff. It doesn't really involve you having to spend any money to do this. Uh, things like turning off the lights when you're not in the room. Simple stuff. When you're doing your washing, washing at 30 or 40 degrees instead of up at 60, 70, 80 degrees. Things like turning your TV, DVD player off of standby, not leaving it with a little red light on the whole time, but actually turning it off at the plug. Mobile phone chargers. When you've, when you've finished charging up your phone, actually unplug it from the wall or switch it off at the wall. All these simple things do add up and do make a big difference if everybody started doing it. Check your levels of insulation. If you've got unfilled cavity walls, uh, and an uninsulated loft, get those filled as soon as you possibly can. It's cheap to do, there are grants available to help you do that um, and you're going to see the benefits straight away. We would certainly recommend uh, all house owners uh, who are living in properties which are uh, say more than 10 years old is to, is to pop their head through the loft hatch uh, and measure the amount of insulation that's in there uh, and then build up on top of that to a minimum thickness of, uh, of 270 millimetres or more. If there's no insulation in the loft space, uh, we would recommend 100 millimetres in between the, uh, the ceiling joists uh, and then overlaid with 170 or maybe even 200 millimetres of glass mineral wool over the top. So insulation really has never been cheaper to purchase or cheaper to have someone to professionally install for you. At the same time, the cost of energy is rising, so now is the, the obvious time to um, to certainly consider doing this uh, and to get your insulation installed as quickly as you can. Uh, that will immediately cut down the amount of carbon which is being emitted, will immediately have uh, an impact on your utility bills and say anything between two uh, and three years uh, you would have paid back in the energy savings you've made for the actual cost of, of installing the insulation. A space insulation is a, is, is a specific range that we, uh, that we offer to uh, uh, the DIYer uh, to, uh, to install in, in, uh, in lofts at ceiling level uh, and the packaging of the material is, is different than other products that, that we manufacture. Uh, there's much more information on the packaging of, of how to install it uh, and, the, and the, the, the tools that you need to, to install it correctly. Uh, and quickly uh, and there are a number of products within the space range. Uh, space loft roll is an unfaced uh, glass mineral wool uh, in a hundred millimetre thick which goes in between uh, the, uh, the ceiling joists uh, and then a hundred and seventy millimetres to go over the top. Both of those are, are unfaced material. Uh, the space blanket uh, range is an encapsulated uh, range of the material. Same material on the inside, it's, it's still glass mineral wool but encapsulating to make it that little bit easier for the DIYer who's not used to handling insulation. For people who want to have a small area of, of uh, loft storage, usually around the loft hatch, we would recommend that they use our extruded polystyrene and that's designed to rest on the existing uh, ceiling joists. 
a lot of the homes in the UK still have unfilled cavity walls and about half of the homes have not enough loft insulation in the roof. Ideally you need about 270 millimetres of loft insulation up there. So if a home does both of those measures, insulates the cavity walls and um, tops up their loft insulation, they can save about £150 a year on their energy bills. Cavity walls uh, were first built in, uh, in, in the UK, England and Wales uh, from about 1930-1932 onwards. Previously to that, walls were, uh, were solid. Uh, cavities were brought in in the 1930s as a way of guaranteeing that the inside of the wall remained dry. There are literally thousands and thousands, if not millions, of cavity walls in old properties which, which remain yet to be filled. Um, and the, uh, those type of properties are what we recommend to fully fill that gap that you have in the wall with a blown glass mineral wall uh, insulation product which completely fills the void. Uh, from the outer skin of brick to the inner skin of brick or block work and completely fills all the opaque wall area. It's not a DIY uh, installation as, as loft insulation is. It's very much through an approved network. They come out, they do the survey, they tell you that the property is suitable for blown cavity wall insulation. And, and the process is a very quick process. It's very much a drill and fill. The holes are drilled in between the joints, the nozzle goes through there and blows the insulation in the cavity. And it's a no-brainer in terms of uh, if you do have a cavity wall, you're making the decision to have the in insulation installed because of the savings that you can make. Probably looking at a, a typical cost of about £250 uh, a property for, say, a three-bedroom, a three semi-detached property. And the savings that you would make on that were probably £115, £120 uh, a year on your utility bill so you can quite easily see within two years you're actually getting back the investment that you've made uh, and forever onwards that's a saving directly into your back pocket and it's a completely risk-free process. There's no danger that by adding the insulation into your cavity wall that in any way that damp is going to suddenly appear on the, uh, on the inside of your property. All the installers are very much trained by ourselves all carry cards to prove that they are they actually uh, are who they claim they are uh, and we inspect their work every year. Uh, each team will get inspected uh, at least four times, once every quarter, to guarantee that they are doing the work properly uh, and in the way that uh, they've been certified to do so. The big aim is to get every home properly insulated in the UK and we're talking about your walls properly insulated and your loft properly insulated. I would like to see every home in the UK being a low carbon home, so to reducing the amount of carbon emissions that it produces and also having as low energy bills as possible to make it easier for the householder. We're starting a project in schools. We're helping them to understand their energy usage, make the students more aware of what's being used and wasted, how they can make changes both at home and in the school. Um, and really the future is, is in that direction, to not just make products that help people save energy and do our very best, but then to have an impact on the wider community and try and help businesses and schools and um, other individuals to be energy efficient and really understand that they can have an impact on the environment and, and make a positive change. If you can help people save money, but at the same time they're actually having a, uh, an impact on um, net reductions in consumption and, 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 and therefore carbon emissions, then, then all well and good and I think that's, that's where the key, that's where the solution lies. The best way to save energy is not to use it in the first place, not to waste it, so that if you do have um, the very best uh, energy efficient appliances in your home, but then also just to say that you know it's, it's, it's not impossible, we can all do this, we can all have an impact and we will make a really big change just by doing those small things and showing um, those in the community what we're prepared to do and what we'd like other people to follow by helping schools, helping businesses to be as energy efficient as possible. Our hopes and goals for the next few years are to ensure that we provide UK householders with a broad selection of energy saving trust recommended products from which they can choose. That will help them to save on their energy bills. There's lots and lots of little things as well as some big things. If you turn lights off, we make sure that everyone turns lights off in the building. That, I walk around the building turning lights off when people have left them on. You should make sure you do that. You should make sure you've got the most loft insulation that you can have. If you can have your cavities insulated, get those done. Use energy efficient appliances. If you've got a nighttime tariff, use a nighttime tariff for your electricity. 
All these things, it's all the little things that add up. All the little incremental things that you can do in your own lives and in your properties and in your houses to save energy that add up to a huge amount overall for yourself and for the country. And the cheapest form of energy, the easiest form of energy to use in your property is the energy which you've saved. We stand on the brink of various futures with the potential to choose our path forward. For those of us who want to save money and save the environment, there are options everywhere. The Energy Saving Trust is your first port of call to gather advice and review guidance about products and services that will help save you money and will help save the environment. We are suffering from the legacy of archaic devices and systems, inefficient and wasteful. It is now time to adopt new technology and adapt the way we live. The future will not mean restricting ourselves or reducing our comfort. It will mean working toward a more efficient lifestyle, reducing energy wastage to a minimum. All we need now is for everyone to start saving energy and start saving money. Coming up in this series...